Good morning, it's Thursday, July 9th, 2009. I'm Jilly Bedanes, and this is the morning briefing, a rundown of the stories we're following here on WashingtonTimes.com. In the second day of meetings today in Italy, the discussion expanded from the G8 to a meeting of 17 nations. Bringing developing nations like China, Brazil, and India into the conversation, they're finding that some major items agreed to by the eight nations are not being endorsed by the broader group. While the G8 countries agreed to cut greenhouse gas emissions by 80%, by 2050, the leaders say they won't be able to get that same agreement from the other nations. And Congress continues to work on health care reform today, trying to whittle down the price tag and craft plans to pay for that estimated $1 trillion plan before President Obama's August deadline. But top Democrats are balking at any plan to tax employer benefits, saying it would not be politically viable. Vice President Joe Biden announced Wednesday that hospitals had agreed to forego $155 billion in Medicare and Medicaid payments over the next decade to help alleviate some costs. And leaders of the House Intelligence Committee revealed yesterday that CIA Chief Leon Panetta admitted the CIA had concealed significant actions over the last eight years. It's not exactly clear what the CIA did mislead Congress on, but Panetta said in a letter that the CIA is not in the practice of misleading Congress, which is why he took action to notify them. Well, that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Stay logged on to WashingtonTimes.com for these stories and your continuous news updates.